Hey, greetings. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, unfortunately, I woke up this morning and my heat is not working. I just made a video about that. Uh, unfortunately, it's not too cold down here. And like I said, I, I do prepare for these things. But nonetheless, anything can happen. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm doing an assessment of many things in the house. What may go wrong and how, how would I deal with it. Um, the other day I went to Harbor Freight Tools. I took my daughter there and I was just showing her that, you know, it's always good to plan ahead and just look for stuff that you may not necessarily need to buy right now, but stuff that you may want to look into, which is I'm looking at the solar panels and they have some there for a fairly good price. Actually, everything at Harbor Freight Tools is fairly priced. Um, and do analysis of what I need and any disasters that might happen, how would I be able to deal with it at home. So that's your survival for tonight. Next, Venezuela. I think everyone knows it is beautiful women, right? They won Miss Universe like six times, Miss World like five times. They also have a very large oil deposit. Also have been having very hard economic times in the past few years. Um, U.S. doesn't have great relations with them. They don't like the guy that's currently in power. What's the name? Maduro. And yesterday on the air, uh, Vice President Pence uh, encouraged the opposition and the people to rise up against him. I find that interesting because if someone from another country did that and said that about our president, I'm sure that would be a big issue. But hey, you know, I'm just reporting what I saw. Um, also, Venezuela, The Simpsons is inappropriate and it's you can't play it on it doesn't play it on tv pretty interesting you know and, and if you know about the simpsons please watch those youtube videos about the simpsons and how they predict the future or these big coincidences uh and anyhow uh 14 people seven about seven to 14 people they said has died since uh they started clashing the government is basically against the opposition and the government does have the support of the some of the police and the army so in the next few weeks i think that's going to be more of a focal point in the world news um and like any other country you know that we help let's see what happens because you know i'm still thinking that oh, we we help syria and now we're pulling out in afghanistan iraq you know and the list goes on libya you know this goes on and on so hopefully we can help them in a way where we don't have to send troops over there because that generally doesn't turn out too good just looking at the track record you know <laughs> um you'll find me laughing a lot more now because i find some very disturbing news and when i report it i try not to come off angry and i think in my earlier videos i did come off a little upset and angry but you know i'm at a point in life where it's just like there's a problem fix it and move on and that's all you can't do, you know. If you can't fix it, then you just learn to deal with it. Like I said, I'm just reporting on it. Also, was it yesterday or the day before? Guy walks in a bank, shoots five people, five people, killed them, calls the police, they come and they apprehend him. No shots fired at him. He walked them out nice and neat. It, you know, Florida is a very interesting state because there is so much that happens over there. There's crazy things that happens over there, and usually with guns. And it has absolutely everything to do with the crazy people that's behind the guns. And they just walk the guy out. And it's just like, man, you got people that get killed for just being pulled over and maybe mouthing off or just being killed for just being pulled over. And for whatever reason, and get off on it. But this guy kills five. Kind of like the, you know, it, it happens all the time. But Florida is not a place I want to visit anytime soon. And if I never go back again, I'll be just be fine. Disneyland or Disney World, whichever one it is in Florida, is way overpriced. And they're actually going to put the price up again. Oh, Google um, or go to YouTube and watch Disney's, um, put Disney videos or secret uh, secret meanings. They have some pretty demonic stuff behind that too. But it's whatever you want to believe because I could say it's crazy or demonic and someone else might be like, nah, you're just reaching. But in any event, please, like I always say, prepare because you just never know. Um, getting ready to wrap this video up right now. I got to do some shopping for the house as well as, um, like I said, got to assess the things that may need fixing or in the worst case scenario, how would I deal with certain situations? Oh, t-shirts, uh, excuse me, hoodies are available now. Also have the Patreons up. 
uh, Patreon, you know, you could subscribe to that. Um, show the support. There's a lot more I want to do here. And could use your support. Thanks again. Freedom Forever, Create and Conquer. We out.